Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for January 22nd through to January 26th. Powerful solar disturbances over the last 24 hours indicate a period of strong seismic events in the coming days with a likelihood of a 7.2 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We're now looking at Cactus, which is a digital representation of coronal mass ejections released from the solar corona. Now yesterday, a full halo coronal mass ejection is earthbound and earth directed, and this implies that January 22nd or January 23rd, we may receive significant impact on the Earth's magnetic field, which could cause a major rise in solar wind speed, and also a seismic shock, which may indicate the potential of a strong earthquake during this timeline. We're now looking at an animated view of the coronal hole formations on the solar corona using the solar terrestrial activity report where we see two regions of note. Coronal hole CH495 located just under this centre is of interest during the first part of this watch and that will be January 22 to January 23. And we have another region CH496 will be of interest and also influence towards the end of this watch January 25 and 26. We're now looking at the Northern Hemisphere with the SDO Composite Moving Imagery where we see a series of solar disturbances on the solar corona over the last 24 hours. It all began with a magnetic filament erupting on the northwestern limb. This unleashed a powerful coronal mass ejection and also left a solar tsunami. Now looking over to the northeastern limb, we see a spectacular solar disturbance initiated by an M2.6 class solar flare. This was followed up almost instantly by an M3.2 class category blast and this was a long duration event and does have an associated full halo coronal mass ejection. We do see a very significant solar tsunami effect that's cleared off the solar corona immediately after this disturbance. We're now looking at the 193 angstrom with solar monitor and focusing on this coronal hole formation that will be of interest during the initial part of this watch. Now the main areas of focus are 10 to 13 degrees south latitude in this region and also just above the equator. I will plot and map these regions now. I'm now going to plot and map this coronal hole formation as best mapped to the Earth and my number one area of concern is for the Salabas Sea. My second area of focus for this coronal hole formation is for the Solomon Islands. And my third and final area of concern is for the region of central Peru. We're now looking at the Australian K index where we see a significant reading of 10 being recorded on this service which is one of the largest readings that I've seen with this service. Now this could be an indication of a 6.5 magnitude or greater earthquake for the southern hemisphere in the coming days and it's definitely worth keeping a close note of. We're now looking at the southern hemisphere and the second coronal hole formation CH496 which will be of interest towards the end of this watch and the main zones that I've focused on are 21 to 27 degrees south latitude and I'll plot and map these regions now. I'm now going to plot a map of region I feel will be most at risk for this significant earthquake based on solar symmetry as best mapped to the Earth and my number one area of concern for this second coronal hole formation is Mozambique. And my second area of concern is for the South Pacific Islands, or more specifically the south of Fiji, south of Tonga or the Loyalty Islands region. And my third area of concern is for Australia, or more specifically Western Australia, as there are some strong radiation signatures that have been recorded. And the final area of concern for this watch is for a possible volcanic eruption in the Reunion Islands, or more specifically the Paton de la Fournaise. We're now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that may be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures. And the areas we're focusing on for this week are in the Atlantic Ocean or the Cape Verde Islands, Panama and the Colombian region, the Gulf of California, the Kamchatka Peninsula, the region just east of Samoa. There is a strong reading showing up in the Coral Sea just off the Australian coast and also West Australia. There is a very powerful reading showing up across the Ryukyu Islands stretching down towards the Thailand region and also the South Indian Ocean has a very strong reading. These will be the main areas of focus in terms of outgoing long wave radiation anomalies for this week. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 20th of January 2012. For more information please visit my website at solarwatcher.net. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.